the materials needed are a kneading needle, a brush, a mallet with a plastic handle, a coin, and a marble. The first technique was the spinning of the coin. I'm right-handed, so the spinning with the right hand was a lot easier than the spinning with the left. I had to spend a lot of time practicing with the left, as you can see. The next thing is catching the coin as it comes to an end, then applying pressure with that same hand, the left hand, while with a needle you rub the head and you move down the head to take care of some of the harmonics and create different tones from the head. I do that twice. The next thing I did was a hitting between the lug and the shell and it's something like this. Out of that I take the mallet with a plastic handle and I do what I call knifing, a term I learned from uh, electronic pioneer Earl Howard and that is done by just taking the mallet and bouncing it on the rim as you're doing a kind of cross stick but by moving the mallet up and down you could kind of make little melodic lines the next technique that follows is I take the needle and I come to the rim and I do the same thing I create different melodic lines by applying pressure and going up and down the rim. I hold the mallet, if you notice, with my thumb on the shaft so I can apply the pressure. I combine those two and it sounds something like this. The next thing I do is I take the brush and if you notice, it's not all the way open, not halfway and not quite to the one-fourth. And I take the mallet away from the rim and I use my fingers to create pressure on the head and I start doing a combination of rubs with the brush as well as rim shots as well as one-hand rolls. And I do the one-hand roll by balancing the shaft of the stick on the rim. So if I do that technique and I combine all those sounds, it sounds something like this. Okay. The next thing I do is I go back to the needle and back to the knifing but this time, I do hit the rim, I hit rim shot, and I do also combinations of rolls and single hits on the head in different places while applying different pressures as well with my left hand. And it sounds something like this. rolling up the marble, I picked it up, roll the coin again, pick up the needle, it didn't hit the rim that the time when I do the solos, but the drum has kind of gone crooked here, then I just finish the same way, applying the pressure, rubbing, but I always finish with a nice rim shot to kind of let, put a little button on the solo. 